smoking Suli Somalia ish Ukulele, ukulele J. Hi everybody, happy sous vide Saturday. I'm doing a video today to talk about reheating meat. And rather than reheating meat in a toaster oven or in a frying pan, I'm gonna take my piece of grass-fed sirloin I did last night on my PK360 grill, and I'm gonna sous vide it to heat it up. Watch this. Now to heat up our meat, we'll take our sous vide machine, and we're gonna vacuum seal this piece of meat to get it ready to go. First, we're gonna make the bag. Next, we're gonna seal our meat. So I put away the sealing machine, and now I have my jewel set up for my sous vide. You'll hear the water going, which normally you don't do when you have a lot of water, this thing's almost silent. But I don't need a ton of water, I'm just doing a little bit of a steak, and uh, we're gonna have the sous vide machine go for four hours. Now this steak was a sirloin, it's all grass fed and grass finished, which is different than a fatty piece of meat. So you have to make sure you cook this to the appropriate temperature. A lot of people go way beyond what they should, and they're gonna get a tough piece of meat. So this meat was pretty good, pretty tender, but I wanna see if I can get it even more tender, buttery tender, on a sous vide reheat, because I got beautiful color on this meat. Uh, everything is the way I like it. So we're gonna dump it in, we're gonna go four hours, take it out, and see what happens. Okay, we're gonna do a little side of some garlic and amami with our, with our sirloin today. Fresh made, fresh edamame. We'll use some, some garlic, garlic paste, soy sauce, fresh coarse ground salt. We're good to go. We're, uh, we're done with our sous vide. We're looking at a good seven and a half Seven and a half, maybe eight hours. I'm gonna get this out of here. And we're gonna go ahead and do a sear and see how it looks. We're gonna get the meat out of the bag here. Looking pretty good. I'm gonna wanna get the water off of this, so I'm just gonna pop it out. Put the bag in the sink. Let's get it nice and dry. I'm gonna get over and sear it. Okay, here we go with the sear. So we're all done with our sous vide. We sous vide at 134 degrees, the same resting temperature of our steak that we had yesterday. We have about eight hours in the sous vide machine, and I wanna see how this compares to yesterday's cook on the barbecue only, and if this made it more tender. Night and day. Wow, that's pretty amazing. That steak was, was not bad. It was a little bit chewy, um, but it wasn't tough. And it really, really broke things down and made this very, very tender. So I definitely suggest if you have a piece of meat that's that size and you have a problem with the toughness, get it in the sous vide machine afterwards and let that thing go. Absolutely fantastic. You gotta try it. Smoking sous 
Smiley, yeah, yeah. Ukulele, ukulele, Jay.